Hey you guys, how is everyone? Hello. So we are making a fall, a seasonal door hanger, you guys. I made this for my house. I've had it in my mind for like a month now. And hey, I really Hi. wanted, hey guys, I really wanted um, a door hanger that I could make once and then switch out the embellishment seasonally and make it a chalkboard so I could change the message on it. I made it once and now I can just change it with the seasons. Super easy, I'm gonna show you how. You're gonna love it. Okay, so Josie's gonna film me getting us started and then she's gonna show you the trick that she had made, that she figured out um, to, again, take it next level. I'm kind of pumped about this project because like I said, I've had it in my head for a long time. We are using our wood gallery blanks and we have them in all different sizes. Today I'm using the 11 by 14. I like that size for a door hanger. And I am using it on the shadow box side. It also has a flat side if you want to use this side. Yeah, that's like the gallery canvas side. Right. The um, other side is the, if you invert yes. it and it's reversible, is for the um, like shadow box or inverted and frame. We're use this side. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is take some brown mineral type chalk type paint and I'm just gonna lightly coat the frame. So if this is just dark brown paint, I'm gonna do a light coat, lickety splickety. Okay, so I'm just doing a nice thin coat and I'm just getting, I'm not worrying about the over because that's gonna be covered later with the chalkboard. And I'm just giving a nice, quick thin coat okay because i'm going to be actually wiping this off so i'm not even being careful to cover it's no big deal it's not a problem this is an 11 by 14 mm -hmm. and we all we have uh six sizes i believe yes and going up to the largest is 12 by 16. to complement each other for a gallery wall yes so you can put them all together, collect them all, make yourself a beautiful DIY decor gallery wall with all the IOD lovelies. You can get the transfers, the stamps and the molds and make a gorgeous gallery wall. But today we're mm -hmm. making, if you just joined us, we're making a seasonal fall door sign. Okay, now before too long so i'm gonna do it now and then i'll finish the edges after you want to come in with just a damp cloth and then wipe it off and you'll see the beautiful grain comes mm -hmm. through mm -hmm. see, see yeah isn't that nice so you're essentially staining it with a chalk type paint yes you are very nice exactly you could if you wanted to you could just use a wood stain but this is what I had and this is what I'm used to using and it's really forgiving. It doesn't matter like what kind of coat you have on it. If you get a little thick, it's okay. Yes. So that's good for me because I'm not very careful about those things. So it works for me. I like easy and I like to use what I have around the house. And this is what I had actually in our studio, not at the house, but so. You can see it just gives it a really nice stain. And one thing I love about our wood gallery blinks is the grain is really nice and the seams are really tight because it's a high quality wood. And so I just come in here and the damp cloth just kind of moves that paint around and gives it a light stain. Exactly, don't forget to get. I won't, I'm okay. gonna get the edges. Oh, okay, I gotcha. Yeah. I wanted to get in there and get that off before it dried too much. Yeah. Okay, that's good. Get that. Get those corners really good. You wanna get in there and get those corners. Okay, now I'm gonna get the sides. Okay, okie dokie. I am going to give this a quick seal. And it probably really doesn't need to be sealed, but it just kind of adds a little bit of extra character to it. So I'm it deepens it a little nice, bit. It deepens it a little bit. I'm going to take a nice um, matte sealer. Now, you would ideally 
wait for this to dry, but I'm not going to uh, because we're on camera and I just want to show you really quick, but I have one already dry. So because you're doing that, having it in a cup is great because that yes. way if you cross contaminate and get a little bit of bleed back, it's not going okay. into your container. Like it did earlier when I forgot to put it in a cup. <laughs> But then I learned. Hi, Sue. And that's how you learn. Okay. So I'm just putting a nice, thin, quick coat. I don't, because my paint's not super dry yet, I'm not working it heavily because I don't want to start moving the paint. So yeah. So I'm just putting Sweet. a quick Sweet. You've got that on coat. there good. On there. Get your edges. Get the XS off. Yep. And there we go. That's it. That's all there is to it. Just do the inside. Do the inside. Yeah. The inside. There. Yeah. That was getting to me. You guys too, probably, huh? <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> I know. You can see that. Okay. That's pretty good. There's so I'm going to set that. that oh, too. okay. <laughs> How's that? Uh, you can't good? hear. Let me know. There we go. <laughs> that was really I'm going to set this aside to dry, but I have one that's dry. So, one of the things that we did on this is we created a piece of mat board, um, which we got from a craft store. And it's the nice, thick, it's thick, thicker thick, than thick. tag board. It's for making mats, okay? And we took it, and they come in big, big sheets. This is like two by four. And we marked it. Okay, there and here, used a straight edge and a razor knife and carefully cut this out to fit in this, okay? And the reason we did that was as an alternate way to create your um, chalkboard surface so that it could be removable and you can stamp all the way off the edge. That was maybe confusing because she used the one that already had chalkboard in it. This yeah. is what it should look like if you're doing this project. So that one is one that I put the contact paper right on the inside, the contact chalkboard paper. Right, right. right on the inside but Josie said wait a second what if we had it removable to make it easier to stamp on that way you can stamp on it all the way off without the framework interfering with um, your stamps and you can bleed it right off and then take it and pop it back into the frame yay okay so this stuff super handy and it's got the grit you know how we feel about grids guys <laughs> who we love can our tell grids. us two products two iod products that have grids oh yeah so i'm going to use this grid on the back of this chalkboard contact paper and i'm going to cut it to so an inch beyond the actual size which there are a lot of ways that you could accomplish getting chalkboard inside of this. So if you have a different idea or you want to just paint the inside with chalkboard paint and then seal it, just keep in mind that when you're using the ELC, which we will be using later, that it is um, it comes off really clean on the chalkboards okay. if you're gonna ho make it homemade chalkboard you have to seal it with an, a good sealer first okay and then i'm gonna take a little strip like this now once i have this down and you can see this is super herky jerky but that's okay you can do better <laughs> than me um i'm going to cut a slit i'm, I'm actually going to cut out this corner on each one okay so, like that, and that. But the idea is to, yeah, we're pretty close there, pretty close, to be able to fold these down without excess, okay? Now, before we do that, we are going to create a tab, a pull tab, okay? So, that is going to look like this. And you could also use string, but this really works good because it's the exact same size as the 
chalkboard and you're going to get it about halfway. You could also do it on a corner and then let's do it. Let's do it less than the depth of the frame so that it's enough to grab, but there's not a lot visible. Now you can have plenty on this part that's going to be covered and that's going to give it strength. Okay. So now we are going to make a little slot for it. Okay. little notch yeah just a little notch out it's not going to be perfect and it's okay all right so now we're going to peel this and expose it and if you're wondering i just ordered this off of amazon this chalkboard contact paper but you can find it everywhere now one thing you want to do oh yes make sure that there's no <laughs> crumbs or chunks or anything like that on it okay yeah we no bumps we got a little now, bumpy last time i'm going to lie it down and there's a grid there and you check your corners that they're about lined up the way you need them to be you can do adjustment but there we go now on this top we are going to pull this around that the top's happening first because you want to we want to work around that little nook we mm -hmm. have a little tab there okay then let's do the bottom pull it nice and tight and you want to check that this fits in your inside your frame before you cover it but do it in a way that you can pull it back out easily because it can, you don't want to get it stuck in there and then mm -hmm. you can dig it out with a pin or something. But excess there and just there and I don't want to have it chunking out. So I'm going to do that. All right. And then I'm going to pull it taut. Nice and taut. Get it down. It's really easy. Like wrapping a gift. Yeah, and I don't know what it is, but it's quite satisfying. Mm-hmm. Okay, so. There you go. There you go. Now hand me that or, okay, so this one, like you said. Yeah, she, just cover it up. So I put the contact paper right on the backing, but what's nice about this is that you can pluck it out to change the message and it makes it so the frame doesn't get in your way while you're exactly. stamping. Now, there you go. This one's bowing out a teeny bit. The other one we didn't, it was not. And it won't if you have it a little bit less. Is it a little tight? It's a little tight. But you can okay. Pull it up with the tab and I bet you we can. Oh. <laughs> There we go. Okay. Well, anyways, make it a, a smidge. It doesn't smaller. matter if it bows out because, okay. yeah, it's awesome. A we can. A smidge smaller. Yeah, it, she made the it other a teeny one bit. We did this perfect. <laughs> the one we did off camera is perfect. It is. But it right works now perfect. I'm <laughs> She's so going Chris Farley. I get the menopause pass. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's it's awesome. It's perfect. So that's the little trick. And here's here's what's awesome, guys. Okay. I'll do that. Oh, and here's your and then I thin mount. like to give that? it a little. Um, see, that's what just so got a little the bump crumb. In it. There, there was a crumb on it, that. so that kind of catches. You can see right there. Yeah, and then when you stamp, it'll yes. Now yeah. that just heads up when you do that, you get surface scratches on it. It's yeah, no big deal, but I but like it. I like yeah. the surface scratches. It makes it look like an older chalkboard. It get better. I feel like um, I feel like I can have a better view from over there. Okay. Okay. This is our new farmhand stamp. Do you love it? We love it. 
I find myself using it super lots because it's just Isn't it fun? really forgiving, really fun, really whimsical. And oh, just, good. I agree, guys. Better I know it works for everything. So here we go. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> okay. So here is why this is super helpful. Yeah. In this case, we don't need this feature, really. She could create it with a smaller mounting sheet to fit in here and be able to stamp within the framework. However, here with this, this whole thin mount can span. Okay. Yep. So you don't have the frame in your way. And if you wanted to take leaves or something and stamp so you are bleeding out of the mm -hmm. chalkboard space, mm -hmm. you can do that all the way off of it and then pop it in there afterwards so yeah. that it, the frame is not in your way. Yes, it is. It was very clever. I, Josie gets all the credit for her cleverness. So. Stop. Stop. <laughs> Let's move it over this way. Like I said, this font is super fun and whimsical, so it, it's really mm. forgiving because if they're spaced a little yeah. bit apart, they're supposed to be fun. Yeah. So I'm going to use it this way. And, and then I'm just going to There we go. It That's up. a better angle. The glare. Yeah, the glares because of the overhead lights. Do we want to turn the overhead lights off? No, I think it's good. I just okay. have to be mindful of the oh, angle. Oh, I forgot to put fall on I there. love a good overhead okay. angle. That's okay. I'll do fall after. Yeah. Bluebird Mercantile is our Valerie Beaks, Oops. our very own. Hi, Valerie. All right. Oops. Hey. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> That's okay. Very nice. Oh, look. There's a little halo of where I was before. <laughs> okay. You can look over and look at your yep. guide. Your, look at your grids. Make it parallel with your... your. There you and go. Once you're on, commit. Don't see shift. how, see how, guys, you use this as a guide in order to get yourself square when you're placing your stamps, arranging them, and then when you go in to do your actual stamp. Yeah. Now I should Hello, have, Patty. I should have written fall on here too. Are you going to do fall in the cursive? No. Oh, okay. I'm going to do it in the farmhand. Okay. Because I just like that better. Mm. I like it kind of simple. Yeah. Okay. And then I'm just going to, I'm just going to, um, so cute. Bear hand this one. Yeah, she knows I don't feel good about that. She does not like doing that. I do. She doesn't. I don't. But it I'm wants to sit. It, so We've had this mine. same conversation on like 20 I know, every different single time. videos. Because it wants to cling to your finger and lift up. And I just don't. I don't. Oh, I'm bare handing it. It's scary. What's going to happen? <laughs> <laughs> that turned out fabulous. Well, hello. Well, hello there. Now, I am going to hit my Great other question, Jasmine. Jasmine asks, how do you remove the removable chuck if you sell an item and then someone wants to change it for the season? That's a great question. After it's dry, and depending on the condition, that's going to vary. After it's dry, you can go in with a wet cloth and wash it off. Sometimes you'll get a little halo depending on the surface. If you do get a little halo, we like, you can either go in again with a little soap and water, or you can use those um, magic for a really stubborn surface. Yeah. The, what do you call magic it? Mr. Erasers. Clean, Mr. the clean white, magic yeah, Mr. Clean Magic Erasers. Those will get, get it good as new yep. on most surfaces. Yep. But your individual stockists who've been using the erasable liquid chalk are also going to have tips on the different surfaces and the best way to clean them. You, you're going to do two L's, right? <laughs> No. no. Smart. Hello, Val. Yes, I'm going to do two L's. 
I'm just trying to figure out if I should do this cell or this cell. I was going to do this cell so I could have it, so I could center it, but my mind, for some reason, is having a hard time doing it. I think I'm going to do like that. Yeah? Does that look good? So I got my letters down. I'm now on there with the thin mount. And now I'm going to flip it. Keep in mind that that's still going to be wet when you're working. So be careful of it, okay? And um, I also got a little bit right there, so I'm going to take that off. Okay. We have an IOD chalkboard group. Yeah. For you to share your chalkboard art and get inspired for chalkboard art. And now that we have all of these different alphas and and the block print and all the things, uh, it's going to be amazing. So, okay. Down here. Down we go. Okay, so I, I got a little messy there, but I kind of like it, but I'm just going to... It does. It looks like the okay, double... Okay, just leave it. It like, does. It yeah, does. I like it. It kind of looks I like I did it. it on purpose. Okay. Here we go. Mmm, so pretty. Hello. Hello. Well, hello. Okay, okay, so... So... Mm -mm. Now, being careful not to smudge it. Mm-hmm. You're going to look at how this just, I mean, isn't that fun? Yeah. Right? Guys, this by itself is so cute, right? I mean, just up on your mantle or whatever, you could have it hanging on your wall. Perfect, just surround it with pumpkins. However, I wanted it for a door hanger. So we put a magnet there so that we could change it out with the seasons, like I said before. Super, right? Sally's feeling her <laughs> cleverness. I'm really proud of myself. Okay. I, this is why it took me all day, because I kept making more of these. You just have a little magnet on there, a magnet on here, and you change it with the season. So this one's for Christmas. Right. This one's for fall. Check this out, guys. So it just clips, so, right? Oh. Okay, what do you guys think? But that's that. And then pretend this has a Christmas thing. Because I want to show you what it looks like with the Christmas ditties. Now, mm. imagine it's a Christmas thing. What do you guys think? Like, joy yes. to the world. Exactly. And this is a little, like, these can be arranged yeah, yeah, and yeah. bent. So it's not covering quite as much of it. Yeah. And it's a little bit out of the way, so. Yeah, so that was our project for today. What that's, do you guys think? That's it. Keep leaving comments and we'll have, yeah. we'll jump in and answer questions. Yeah, any questions you guys have, just leave them in the comments because even if you're watching this on a rewatch, we are going to answer all of your questions about the product, how to use it, and any projects you guys are inspired to make share. with IOD, share your ideas. This is the place to do it. Thanks, you guys. We're going to sign off now. I hope you enjoyed it. We loved spending time with you guys and hanging out. We'll talk to you later. Bye. Bye.